I came out here about three weeks ago to um, help set up the Clarity Kitchen. I was involved with it last season. And <clears throat> it was really interesting before I came out because I was sure that I wasn't coming out here. I really wanted to come, but I'd run out of money and I, I wasn't able to come. But somehow the, the, the passion to want to be here with all of you to share this incredible experience of empowerment and community building. I somehow didn't believe that I wouldn't be here, but practically it was not going to happen. And I had such a powerful time being in touch with my trainer about how, how it was going to work out and really actually feeling a lot of resentment that I'd prioritized the four mainstays in my life and as a result I put myself in a situation of really not being sure about my finances because I'd given up my job and I just really decided I want to just commit my time to open intelligence and the four mainstays. Uh, and, and it was just so amazing how, wh whether it was with my trainer or friends in the community, there was just this sense that anything was possible. And, uh, and, and also, you know, a, a friend in the community actually helped me financially to come. And I, no one's ever done that for me before. And, you know, the, the empowerment that we all receive to resolve data like data about money not only means that we can just make bold decisions to prioritize open intelligence but we begin to find this community of friends who really step in for us for the benefit of all you know we see in each other that we all have a role to play and instead of maybe having resentment or competition or a feeling that we've got to keep our resources to ourselves you know, we start to see how we can share those resources with each other. So th that very um, incident was incredibly powerful demonstration to me of everything that's talked about in this training. You know, this new era of human empowerment, this gift economy that will come about naturally that Candace speaks about. Well, I, I'm experiencing it already. And it's just so obvious that to me, everything going on in the world is just that macro level of the micro level of everything that goes on within us. And so, you know, generosity of sharing the world's resources will only come about when each individual understands really authentically and naturally what true generosity is. And I came to this training with a lot of doubt, a lot of skepticism, and really what I've noticed was the strongest data stream for me was a lack of trust, a very profound lack of trust <coughs> in others, in the way the world was operating, the people that were making really important decisions, and I committed 10 years of my life to <clears throat> try and raise awareness about the need for people in power to really take responsibility for that power. And ultimately, what I've discovered was that I needed to know how to take ultimate responsibility for my own power. And I didn't know what my own power was but I know now what it is. And I know now because of this training. And initially I didn't believe what was said here. And I realized I had to really just, I had to test it out for myself, you know. And so that's what I did. And the more I tested it out and the more I really, really used the support system, which was hard for me because I didn't want to take support. 
because I had a lot of pride and I didn't want to be weak. Um, I didn't realize that my vulnerability was my power. But the more support I took from the trainers, the community, just being in trainings, being in service, uh, it just, yeah, my whole experience opened up. So, I mean, I would just recommend to anyone who has any doubts about this training, test it, test it and know for yourself. It, it'll be a very powerful experience. <coughs> And if it's not for you, that's also fine. And that's another thing I've realized is that my urge to convince people to live a certain way is completely gone. And, you know, I just respect everyone's decisions, but I know what my decision is. And it becomes more and more obvious every day. So here I am at the center and I'm just loving working together with everyone just to make the center what it is and I always dreamed about global community projects but it was always something that would happen outside of my life it would be like a work project and now it is my life it totally is my life and there's nothing more amazing than to just see in every single person I mean I'm looking at you all now just every single person what potential they have and how every single person's potential and empowerment is completely adding to my life so it would be crazy not to not to nurture that and to me that's all the world needs right now is for everyone's fire to come alive in themselves and then we just share that together it's actually really it's quite quite simple you know, for me to be comfortable with myself finally as I am. And then just to share that with all of you and see that we generate that together. And then anything's possible. I mean, the center is a very small example of what's possible. So, yeah, the four mainstays. I wanted an optimal life. I wanted to be the best I could be. I wanted to love myself deeply and others. I wanted to thrive, be creative and make a difference in the world. Well, that's exactly what the Four Mainstays is for. So I'm just taking it all <laughs> for the benefit of all. And yeah, it's transformed, it's transformed my life. And the future is very bright, it's very, very bright.